turn to ban. Radiant team back. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds. No, hello Los Angeles and hello rest of the world from Croatia. How are we doing? We're super fucking hyped for this match because uh, Team Liquid, uh, Team Liquid's ga getting bashed a lot um, for some reasons that I know and for some unknown reasons. But overall, I feel like Team Liquid has more to show. Like they, this is not their true strength. I would agree. I would imagine so. This is a team built up of some of the highest caliber players, at least according to their MMR. Three 9K gods, to be exact. And, uh, yeah, you know, they were starting to find their own groove coming into DAC, and then that whole meta just shifted a bit, and they had to quickly adapt. And, uh, you know, it didn't feel like they were able to adapt fast enough to kind of make it work at the back end of DAC. But now they're coming in and trying to find some new things here. And speaking of new things, I can't believe that in one day of Dota, I'm going to be seeing Arc Warden twice. So this is crazy. So Liquid now, let's talk about the actual draft here, Lacoste. We got a ban on the Earth Spirit here. Uh, just giving a lot of respect, of course, to um, XY and how good he is on the hero. And uh, I'll probably also hoping that Liquid would be able to get a hold of Monkey King themselves. Well, the Monkey King is going to get banned, along with, of course, that GH Wisp. Timbersaw gets banned. Liquid grab up the Tram Protector. And here we are again, Arc Warden and Witch Doctor coming out for Faceless here. Yeah, this is interesting uh, opening from Faceless uh, Arc Warden. Again, it was uh, OG picked it in the first phase as well, right? Yep. In the first first game of the series, and yep. Witch Doctor. <laughs> huh. I mean, Witch Doctor is a faceless thing. They did uh, it. Yeah. They did it during Dota Pit, and uh, they just always fall back on it. I believe they did it earlier in the qualifiers. But it's just some. It's nuts, man. It's a nuts thing. It's a nuts it's a thing. Coconuts or... thing. Coconut. <laughs> Uh, respect band, uh, Isis Ice, uh, Timbersaw, of course. Uh, I expect some of the two other bands to go to just ban out Ice Ice Ice. Trin Protector, pretty classic. In the key of major, either banned or first picked. I don't know, I, I still want to see if Arc Warden uh, has a zero percentage. Yeah, what first is he? He's currently zero and five, I think. Or zero and four. Zero and four, probably. I think he was coming in today, zero and three, uh, and then we saw him lose earlier today in the first game of OG versus Thunderbirds. But now, what the hell are Faceless going to do with it? Who plays it? Is it a black pick? Uh, I doubt it. I, I, I didn't see. Yeah, black uh, as. Uh, it must be a jabs thing. Maybe. Probably. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Jab, it seems like a, a jabs thing. You know, jabs is like edgy, Lion. playing all the cool news things. I don't know. I'm I'm stretching with that one. I don't really know the facts on it, but I can tell you that of all the recent tournaments we've casted together, and then I've also seen Faceless don't pull out Arc Warden very often, if at all. So, you know, when you're in a position like this, when uh, every game counts, why not now? <laughs> yeah, and uh, there's a lion as well. Like this, I didn't see the hero for such a long time. Yeah, a lot of yeah, heroes I mean, uh, getting out of retirement here. Time. Heroes. Just want to check his talent tree real quickly. Plus 60 damage, similar to on level 10 or minus 30 seconds respawn time. If he's hey, level how come 10, we can't look at the talent tree in the draft screen yeah, anymore. Yeah, yeah. I don't know why. There's a lot of things to fix in Dota 2. Oh, that's a bummer. So plus 60 damage, minus 30 seconds respawn time. Uh, if he's level 10, he can just die and come back to a fight. Uh, within three seconds or four, not sure what's the respawn time. Should be like 34 or 35 seconds on level 10. Uh, on level 15, plus 90 gold per minute, that's pretty much a no-brain for him. 
and he can go for spell amp or magic resistance probably a spell amp for him and uh oh he has a pretty good talent tree actually plus 20 stats or plus three mana drain multi-target that that that's really funny to to watch and uh, it's actually so good but it's hard to hit uh, level 25 with lion you need probably yeah. a yeah you need a midas you would need a naga in the game or an alchemist or some way to really extend the game into 70 minutes probably if you want lion to really get into a easy 25 level 25 kind of a game but Faceless are doing us all justice here. They have banned out both the Naga and the Spectre. Does still leave out some potent options here for Liquid, but Faceless remaining. at least removing those cards from the table. Yeah, Liquid, you know, doing one of those interesting approaches remaining. where they show both their supports in their first pullout. You know, not something a lot of team captains do favor, but uh, here Liquid going for it. Yeah, uh, they banned uh, Nature's Prophet, one of ISSI's signature heroes as well. He's been playing it a lot lately. And uh, Jab's uh, Ember Spirit. Uh, they probably think it might be actually Black playing Arc Warden then, if they banned out uh, Ember. Yeah, I don't know. I don't follow around. Like, obviously we can't watch their scrims. And I haven't been peeping in on any black pubs recently. I don't know if they have Smurfs, which you can't really even use anymore unless you got multiple phones. But whatever the case may be, I haven't seen him play Arc Warden again. So it's just a puzzling pickup. But uh, here we get an Undying. So gives me the sense that Faceless are looking to impose a little bit of lane dominance here. They don't even know yet what cores they're going up against, but they're already saying, like, whatever core you get, we're going to make sure that they don't have a good time in the laning phase. That's what it feels like, at least. Yeah, they might do... Uh, they surely want to bully their safe lane. They might go with Undying plus one, or they might go with Undying Witch Doctor plus one, put an offensive try lane. And leave a uh, solo lane for Isis Ice. Now, what do you think about this? An Enigma rolls out for Liquid. And, uh, you know, obviously it's, it's going to be the offlane Enigma, given the pickups of the tree and the lion already coming into play. Five it's looking like we're going to be seeing Mind Control Enigma offlane. So, uh, again, another pickup I, I personally haven't seen too often. Maybe they played it a bit in this tournament. And I have not been able to catch their game. Uh, due to all the crazy amounts of Dota games going on. But uh, what do you think about the pickup here with the lineup that we already see? Uh, Enigma, good pickup. They have only Witch Doctor stun. They had only Witch Doctor stun to cancel the black hole so far. Uh, good with Treant Protector as well. If Overgrowth is used first, uh, combined with uh, Midnight Pulse and easy to cast the black hole. Also, there there's no place for Rubik because Undying and Witch Doctor were picked. So they felt comfortable to go with it right now. Now they have Black Faces is thinking we need something to stop the black hole. So either Cogs without a BKB and uh, Hookshot uh, goes through BKB. So Yeah, if he can find the angle, that could definitely stop any sort of heavy team fight here from Liquid. But you're talking Roots and Black Hole now coming out for Liquid is seeming pretty ridiculous. And now look at this! Core, it's looking like Core Ventral Spirit. We saw this, I believe, yesterday. We got to cast a liquid game, and it was a Matumba Man Ventral Spirit. And uh, do you remember? I can't remember Ten what it was remaining. that they I ended up playing. I think they won. Core. Yeah, I think that was the Terror Blade game. Terror Blade. Yeah, he was struggling yeah. early on, then got Midas, and then they came back pretty much the one man show. This. Do you think this is another possible Terrorblade game? Uh, the band is on Shadow Fiend. They're thinking, oh yeah, because whatever they pick uh, would certainly go mid lane. Well, it might mid be a Terrorblade. Uh, they don't have much to counter Terrorblade with. Once the illusions are up, there's Coconuts and the uh, Arc Warden Maelstrom. In long termly. This is a crazy draft. Uh, it's a definitely an intriguing draft for both teams. Both of them dipping into picks that we don't see them like have a lot of professional experience with. Arc Warden on Faceless' side. Obviously, every team doesn't have a lot of professional experience with Treon Protector, but again, I don't remember a, a plethora of games where I've been seeing Mind Control on Enigma, so this is definitely going to be a bit of a, feel, a feeling out process probably for both teams in Game 1. Final ban on Liquid's side is going to be getting rid of the Death Prophet, though. 
And now they get their final pickup. And what we imagine has got to be their mid laner. Maybe their jabs in Volker. Maybe sorry, an Volker. Uh, yeah. Spirit. Oh, Storm. Good. All right. Radiant team pick. Good, they huh? A, yeah, they have enough uh, disables with Train Protector, Lion, Enigma, Venge. There's a lot of stun and a lot of control, a lot of team fight. And on the other hand, Faceless doesn't have uh, anything for Storm Spirit if he doesn't. Gets out of the mana. Like the Undying Witch Doctor is pretty poor support duo that can't do anything to Storm Spirit. Clockwork with Hookshot only, and that's it. They need something to control that Storm Spirit. Let me just check the heroes real What quickly. if it's jabs on Arc Warden and they get to pull back like the black mid lane invoker or something like that? Like that would be gnarly. I have no idea what they're going to do. I don't even know if Black's playing this Arc Warden or if Black's going to take the mid lane while Jabs plays it. Like Queen this, of Pain, uh, maybe, or Queen of Pain, yeah. Queen of yeah. Pain, maybe, even Lena. Just be dirty and pick like Skywrath Mage and take a mid. Didn't we see that in the match of a Virtus Pro? Yeah, Virtus Pro. No one just dominated the lane. Or oh. that, this is also good. So they're gonna go for the Dragon Knight. That leads me to believe this is gonna be a Jabs Dragon Knight, and it's gonna be a Black Arc Warden. I mean, Black has probably got one of the deepest hero pools in Dota. I've seen him play a lot of stuff. Uh, and then he has phases where he plays a lot of, you know, grimy farm heroes like AM and Morphling and Slark and stuff like that. But Arc Warden. Yeah. Okay. Oh. We, maybe it's Dragon Knight Black on mid if he doesn't play Arc Warden. That's true. That's true. Dragon Knight doesn't feel like a Black hero. I know I just come. Uh, this comes just after me saying I see Black play a lot of different heroes, but one of them is not really DK. So yeah. we'll see, though. But for me, Dragonite is more like Black hero than Arc Warden because yeah. I never saw it. But yeah. Still. Now that 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 Five is going to be a Miracle Storm Spirit then, right? Yeah, that Storm Spirit is going to have easy time if <laughs> we'll see if it's dragon if it's dragonite mid must be a dragonite mid yeah. uh, these are both pretty high tempo lineups this is almost the opposite of a lot of what we've been seeing before with of course a lot of that ridiculous late game core potential this one seems quite the opposite here i mean arc warren i would imagine with the amount of greed he's able to build in with the double midasis comes online relatively fast and the rest of the lineup has to kind of meet that pacing here with dragonite also a pretty high tempo fighter liquid could share a lot of that same you know sentiment they have a lot of potential team fight to work with early on you know and uh yeah it is I black mean, it is black it is black Warden. okay yeah wow come on black i want to see black put on a arc warden performance that warrants a black arc warden ban from like all games moving forward that's what i want to see yeah remember the you, you remember the dota pit when he was playing pudge like he did it was first yeah. picked or banned all the time. That's exactly what I'm like, kind of referring to. Is I want to see those uh, that kind of a black showing here, but uh, we'll see how much of a believer I'm going to be. This guy had been hit with quite a bit of nerfs, and I know I've seen Arc Warden players of the kind, the dozens of them out there, vocalize about how the hero is just not really in a good place. Now, I again have not had any personal experience with the hero, but uh, we'll see. Black is a high caliber player and we'll see what kind of stuff he has up his sleeve yeah me and black share the same first name so black must be good uh on good. the other hand let's uh, predict what do you say yeah we haven't done it ever i say we don't do it yeah all right i'll just go with liquid then oh you mean predict teams yes okay yeah i thought you meant like that Stupid little prediction pop-out thing. No. Uh, predicting teams? Uh, yeah, I don't know. It's like one of those things like you can't naturally help but feel Liquid are going to be the favorites in this one just because they have a lot of great raw skill. But uh, I would lead towards even further just because of the Arc Warden pick and uh, Faceless doing something that we don't see him do very often. But look at this. Suddenly uh, I could be eating my foot here. As they're about to get potentially first blood for Kuro. Nah, Man, they can't does take him. So much damage. Even at level one, Flux. That's crazy. Yeah, nice name for a spell, Flux. Uh, Enigma just denying a creep wave and is going to forest. We'll keep farming there. Has a boot so he can run away from Witch Doctor and uh, Undying on the lane. Uh, undying on safe lane as uh, 
support, especially when Enigma is on the offlane, is not, not that good. I mean, he needs to go and find him in the forest. He's looking for him right now. He's like, where is that blue son of a gun? He is coming around the corner right now. Is he going to get close enough to leech some XP? It looks like maybe a little wolf. And then he says, get the hell out of here. But suddenly Kuro has shown up, and that is someone you do not want to get into a level 1 fight with. Unless you get lots of stacks off. Yeah. Whatever the case may be, XY is doing his job right now. He's trying to get up in the business of Enigma, and he's even forcing extra attention on himself. Yeah, Witch Doctor just trying to pull the creep wave. Get those creeps to those centaur camp as well. Get as much XP as he can. Well, seems like uh, Treant will just stand on the bottom, try to get some XP while Enigma just continues to farm jungle. They do have a sentry down though, so if Kuro plans on hiding within that tree gathering, uh, he needs to be a little bit careful. All that goes on down in the bottom half of the map, up over here and above, we see Ice 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 on his clockwork, bumpy back GH Lion. You don't get to see a GH 9k Lion very often, so that's going to be a bit exciting with Matumba Man in the lane nearby. Yeah, that's 18k lane on top. 18k Ooh. gold. 18k lane. What the hell is Ice 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 going to be doing about this? Looks like he gets pulled, though. So he's going to be happy about that. Should help boost his way to an easy level 2, level 3 situation. Money changes hands. Triant is so funny when he's hitting people like 91 damage, level 1. Yeah, he opted to go for the boots instead of like the Orba Venom buildup. So he does get a few extra shots in, but... Uh, also has the extra boost speed to avoid any potential trouble. And uh, look at this, XY. Nice little mission for himself. Goes pretty deep and claims the bounty. Takes that one away from Liquid. And how is our mid lane matching up right now? Miracle 14 CS to the 11 of jabs. Off to a nice little start. Yeah, pretty even. I mean, Storm Spirit against Melee Hero is going to farm much more. But Dragonite is doing a good job. Both shrines are used. He's trying to refill the bottle. Or not. Yeah, he is just having to deal with Miracle kind of really taking it to the lane and forcing the DK back a bit until he can get some more levels and have that extra bit of durability with the Dragon's Blood. My Control stepped away from the camps and has now shown himself within the lane. Um... Curious to see if Black is trying to just see how much pushing pressure he can add on. He's already done some softening damage onto the tower. Do you think it's in their best interest to take that tier 1 down as soon as possible, or just coast yeah. through the lane, through the laning phase? Ah, they need to get that Midas up on uh, Black, and they can't really take the tower. Every time the lane comes back, Enigma's gonna show up, plus uh, tree and heal once he gets uh, level 3, so... Jabs onto Miracle with XY here. They need one more hit and they get it. With the assistance coming in from XY, they get a nice early gank rotation onto Miracle and take him down. Yeah, this is a good rotation from uh, Zombie. I mean, Jabs can't really kill him there, but uh, I love the build that he went. Like one, one, two. Usually you have two in uh, Breath Fire and. Uh, in dragon blood but uh, he thought he can kill him because shrine was used earlier so possible scuttle here in the top lane ice 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 not able to get the connection with the cogs and that could allow gh Ooh. to make it away but he eats a hard shot from xy there and we'll have to limp his way all the way back to base it's not a kill but at least he's going to take him off the map for a little while that will relieve a lot of pressure on Ice, Ice, Ice in the top lane and allow him to kind of get some work done in the laning phase between him and Matumbo Man. Oh, they're trying to go again on mid? Never mind. Wait a minute. Oh, I hate Nuts' name so much. <laughs> I look at his name and I'm like, wait a minute, Ice, Ice, Ice is playing Witch Doctor. No, nope, no, nope, that's just Nuts' trolley ass name that he loves to have. Nice uh, top lane, right Ice, Ice, Ice. Oh. Oh, he's gonna get a solo kill on that oh, Venge. Nice. No, he's not. I mean, not uh, Venge is gonna get him killed, yes. I know what you meant, don't worry. Yes. We all got you. Ice 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 does end up, the real Ice 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 does end up going down in the top lane. The top of Man's able to get a hold of him. And uh, we'll punish him for it. Still scouting, though. XY around this mid lane. Him and uh, Nuts both kind of happy to step away from the bottom lane. Black is now in his own game. 
and is happy to work through the lane. Nearby Mind Control is aggressively jungling, so he's definitely going to be sucking in a lot of early farm. Could be a problem for him later, but look at this. But Tumbleman on his way out, a little bit closer. He can't quite get there with the coconut. They'll have to turn around and settle for the GH Lion instead. Yeah, you, when you're playing that Lion uh, against, especially against Clockwork, who has boots, I mean, Lion has one as well, but he's not that fast. He's only 335 with the brown boots, which is pretty slow. Uh, you need to really be careful, like, Clockwork can get a solo kill, especially if someone rotates, you're, if you get caught out of position. He made an attempt at Black in the bottom lane, but he's able to step behind the tower, pop a salve, and be good. While well, there is a trade for the rune between these mid laners. Before we switch things over to the net worth, let's give one last little report here on the CS game. And it's still Miracle, even with that takedown. Up and ahead in the CS game, 41 to 3 to Dragon Knights, 34. The next highest CS in the game does belong to Black at 35 and 12 for him. Certainly he has his Midas underway here. He is getting close to finishing out the recipe. So it's coming soon enough. Oh, Witch Doctor, was, is he going to cast a black hole? No mana, though. Yeah, he's very short. And Arcane Boots are on cooldown, no Soul Ring. He's going to have to just pop a Mal that little Malphus and walk away. Uh, do you think this is kind of a straight to Blink Dagger Enigma game, or do you think there's any extra value in going for something like the Mechanism? Mm, I think it's going to be a Midas first picked up. Oh, <laughs> yeah. great. So you get movement speed on level 10. Um, I mean, I, S4 kind of invented that build, and I think it's the best one. And then you go on level 15, there are some greedy players who go for 120 gold for per minute. That, that's not much. I mean, you get so much more with 15 cooldown reduction combined with Octarine Core. Uh, plus, if you already have a Midas, it's not needed to go for gold. And the, overall, those gold talents are not so good. Uh, it's 1.2k gold over 10 minutes. That's not much. Oh, a jump in from Miracle as Jabs pops his dragon form. Gets hit with the dragon's tail. While that happens, that top lane is an engagement actually coming out from Liquid. As they make their move for Ice Ice Ice, they will be able to pin him down. He cannot shrug that one off on the back of his magic wand. But look at this moving forward. It's going to be nuts. But he can't get the finish. A living armor will help keep GH alive. But Tumbleman also very weak and wounded. Barely able to make it out from trouble. At that same moment, mid lane, XY also going to get dropped. Miracle picks up that kill as there's simultaneous action between the mid and top lanes here. Liquid winning them all. Yeah, Liquid uh, doing uh, two engagements at the same time. Meanwhile, uh, Black on bottom continues to farm has uh, enough gold for Hand of Midas, it's flying up to him. Having a TP with Arc Warden, so you can just uh, use uh, Tempest Double and help other lanes if they dive. It's always good to have. So no back to the grind here for Ice Ice Ice. Does set him back a little bit, but at least he's level 6 now with a hook shot good to go. But need lots of love and elsewhere here as we can see XY still level 3. Needs to try to spend a little bit of that me time here. Nuts will get a nice little D ward. And we'll begin to look over to the side of Liquid as they pop a smoke. And we'll begin to go on the prowl here. GH not close to level 6 yet, but they are feeling rambunctious with a level 6 Matama Man, and they want to see what they can get done. Uh, they saw a Dragonite, but they can't take him down. It's only Venge and Lion. Yeah, are they going to settle for it because it's the only thing they got? And... Well, they'll hit him with a stun, and that's it. That's like one of those, like, hey, we were here, just so you know. So take that. Take that. And they'll drop a ward. If they see GH in lane and see he doesn't have a ward, then they could probably do the deduction and get rid of that ward. But their eyes are on the prize here in the bottom lane. Looking to go for a tier one. They quickly surround XY nice hook. and look to finish him off. A hook shot does jump in, and Ice 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 is able to get connection onto three. He begins to dance his way on forward, hoping to go for the finish. It's mind control, the lowest and weakest here, hiding within the trees. They pop him with the Maledict, and he will eventually fall. The rest of Liquid will avoid the trouble. But... Uh, Base was kind of committing some extra hands here in the bottom lane to go for that simple counterplay. They could get more here. Suddenly jabs, ooh, to the river. Shrine is ready. Oh, this is good. They can just come back to the lane again. Try to pressure bottom Enigma. 
might have finished the... Uh, he, <laughs> he doesn't have enough mana to cast a black hole like few times. He was always on low mana. Yeah. But he's got a minus and he's getting rich. So yeah, well, who needs mana when you got money? Hello everybody, welcome to Midas Major. Yeah, welcome to the Midas Major. Featuring uh, King Midas. Lord of Cringe. Alright. I'm 13 by the way. As we see uh, Faceless now just kind of dealing with the situation they've been put into. Black also with his own Midas and Pairs. Similar buildup, I would imagine, to what we saw previously pulled out today from the hands of OG. Uh, I but think, uh, yeah, I think he needs uh, that um, Helm of the Dominator, and uh, there was a blink before that on OG side, but he needs a BKB before that blink because of all that uh, magical damage and disables. He needs to live. Number one rule, you can't deal damage if you're dead. Remember that. I think I knew that rule, but I don't know. Sometimes I'm not good at applying it. Here is Liquid giving bottom lane another go. Ice, ice, ice. Suddenly crosses paths with Miracle. Is going to be forced to pop out the battery assault to try to keep him at bay. Will Miracle continue pursuit? He jumps in. Quickly sees a coconut coming his direction. Decides to pull off. Jumping in, though, is going to be Matama Man with a good swap back. And they'll get the finish onto the clockwork. And suddenly Mind Control steps in. Gets a good two-man connection of the black hole. It is onto the Tempest double, though. But 180 gold for Tempest follow. double. Yeah, that's yeah. good money. And a Witch Doctor takedown. Top lane, Faceless are trying to trade and get something their way with at least a tower takedown. Is there another heal? Seven seconds, uh, they don't have a glyph. Oh, nice dust pop. Hey, uh, yeah, spotted out Kuro, pinged exactly where he was and then moved in with the dust, but he just, okay, he casually walks away when Jabs is not able to get close enough with a stun. So they will... Get him cleared from the area and finish out their tier one. Oh, Lion just hit six with that bounty rune. Finger is up. And they take the ward down that had obvious, obviously spotted Kuro in the first place. And faces will walk away and get back to their grind here. So Liquid, though, getting more and more into some solid fighting shape. Midas Gaming, though. How many Midas is there? Arc Warden, uh, Enigma, Venge, uh, and there could be one more. Yeah, Kuro will probably get one in the future, I'd imagine. Yeah. Lion, lion. lion. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? Uh, drums soon to come, though, for Ice Ice Ice. Might say that Faceless are going to be looking to turn things up sooner than later. Not allowing Liquid to kind of put themselves into a, a later game position. Yeah, I exercise a lot of problems with his builds uh, always innovative and uh, doesn't Radiant get what other people say like has a unique style He'll make what he thinks is best. He doesn't copy anyone You have a lot of Intel coming in here from Kuro as he finds a good little spot to scout things out from behind that tier one But we have a lot of faceless members kind of also hanging around this mid lane so no good uh, opportunities for a jump play here. Ice, 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 though, on a high ground position. Bumps Miracle back as he tries to step up for the bounty rune here. And oh, that could missed. be the end of it. Oh, tried to go for a follow-up hook. Could have been a good grab. Catching the Storm Spirit with little mana, but not going to find it this time. And Jabs gets back to work on that tier 1 tower. This tower, of course, getting a lot of love and repair from the good old Treon Protector here. Yeah, but this is where uh, Black's hero excels really well when you're sieging a tower like this, just uh, using those uh, spark rates all over the place. Plus rocket providing vision and spark rate as well. It's a long process though, and I mean, look at the damage that's only been done, and this is nearly an expired dragon form. I don't think you're satisfied if you're faceless right now. That was probably not a good enough push for them considering how much they've invested yep. into this push already. And Liquid, you know, they had to draw some attention that way. Black's able to kind of free farm through the top lane, but uh, now Liquid are confident to kind of take the move themselves. They head in with the smoke, almost end up catching XY here. He heads to the low ground Big in a way. GH wants to go close, but that overgrowth will lock him in place. A follow finger will be there, and that will get the finish onto Black. Now they spot out and look to go for the follow play. XY is also going to be taken care of. Any other faceless members only risk 
being executed if they dare proceed. Liquid will take down the two very nicely and pull ahead nine to three. I love how Kuro was there standing AFK for like two, three minutes, just providing vision, waiting them to come back to forest so they can re-engage after they defend the tier one tower. Yeah, serious patience from Kuro, just kind of hanging back and waiting for the opportune time, probably making the calls, allowing him to watch all the other elements of the game. And now he'll be able to join with his team under the shrine after farming up some ancients here and be able to move on to the next possible objective at hand. A black hole is up for him, and they have the blink dagger ready to go. On my controls, Enigma could spell a serious game fight here for Liquid. The problem uh, with Undying is if you don't pressure their safe lane. I mean, he's level 6 right now, he's been involved in two kills, you don't have much levels. Uh, and uh, plus, when you go for two levels in DK, your tombstone's not gonna be up that soon. I mean, you need that level 4 tombstone. Yeah, he has a struggle ahead of him here, does XY on this Undying. He had Done a little bit of work through the early laning phase, but at this point is going to have a lot of trouble figuring out what kind of uh, impact he can make in these fights here without Liquid just kind of easily taking care of the Tombstone and him. Right now he's being spotted. They spotted him, dropped the wards and a sentry, and that's just going to be free money for Liquid to kind of take care of later on. Meanwhile, though, Faceless still pressuring this mid lane tower. It's got more life than the last time I checked on it. Faceless yep. just kind of, this has got to be a headache for them. They could not progress on forward out of this laning phase. They just smoke, they want to go around. Enigma with a black hole, right. level 2, and blink dagger. Jump in for Matama Man, he is not going to be able to get any sort of swap and no save will be there. Nice little quick pick. Kuro is still waiting behind, hiding within those trees. Faceless are still looking to go for the tower finish. A heal comes out. But uh, they can't quite get it down. Well, Dragonite uh, corrosive breath uh, just removes the full living armor from three in a few seconds. Ooh, ice, ice, ice goes on chase for Kuro. Kuro looked like he was trying to get the root off, but ice, ice, ice is able to kind of burst him down with the help of the rocket and get the finish. Gets him a secondary pick, so Matama Man and Curl will end up going down. The tier one still standing while the tree is dead. This could be Faceless's best chance of taking down and finishing off that tier one. But uh, we see Miracle with a Invis Rune. Pops out the Arcane Rune now and makes his move in. They're going to get the quick finish and take jabs right out of the fight. Now they look for the follow up. XY's there. He tries to run and pop out his wand, but Miracle makes it look easy with a secondary kill. Oh, nice DP by. Picking yeah. up both of them, though. Yeah, two extra charges for that Bloodstone. This is where you want to make a move. There's still Black Hole up. There's still Overgrowth. Uh, now Storm Spirit. With one death, level 14 and 14 charges, uh, he's going to go really big this game. It's going to be a really problem to control him. Whoa! Oh. Long jump for mid lane. Here comes Miracle. Looking to hop on in. and He's left with very little mana, but he is able to hold them there long enough for the rest of the Liquid Brigade to show up and beat some ass. Now it's Kuro dropping down the root, and there goes the black hole on top of Nuts. Just so much hate coming out from Liquid as they take out a third. XY's back into action now, but they're left with pretty much nothing to work with here. Some Liquid members are falling a bit low in life as Jabs comes back into play. He pops his dragon form, and that is when Liquid quickly look to run away. Run away, run away, Liquid. The Liquid is showing their true strength there. The coordination in a team fight is just amazing. They know how much they can go into there. They just dive the tier 2 tower on bottom with 3 and 12. Well, you can be that cocky. Jump in, all spouted out, courtesy of Kuro. Mirko flies, there's the magic missile, and your Dragonite is now Liquid. Is ISSI is gonna go? No. Fortunately, not that kind of a game. He also a Midas, huh? Okay. Well, Faceless are trying to hold out here. And uh, they are taking the measures necessary to build out into uh, a bit of a later game. But at the tempo Liquid are building up here, it's not going to be easy to do. A BKB is coming next. 
for mind control. So he's not like trying to step off and go immediately for the Octarine core. He is going to get the defensive BKB first, and that could be just enough for them to be able to close things out, the BKB alone here. Faceless, their lineup, uh, not so great. I mean, they have initiation in form of clockwork, and that's it. But uh, if he initiates, there's tree and protector heal, there's black hole. Uh, they can just burst him out really quickly. There's swap, and the uh, four staff's gonna be completed pretty soon on uh, Venge. It's gonna be really hard to kill any hero on Liquid side. Miracle being super annoying, had a haste rune to dance around with Faceless. Now is able to build up quite a bit of mana. Still stalking as the rest of Liquid look to make their approach. It looks like they managed to engage with Ice Ice Ice. He traps within the cogs, but they're able to finish him off with the finger. Both sides will take some hits here, but Death Ward will force Liquid back out and towards the low ground. It's going to be Motumba Man caught up and jabs as he's going to secure a double kill. On the other side, Black dishing out a wealth of damage will also get the GH Lion. Miracle, we've been hanging in this single spot. Still yeah. there. A miracle killed the uh, Undying and killed his tombstone was uh, on doing? half of the mana he's and uh, didn't want to go in. He's trying to make a storm lightning bomb here for someone to walk into, but no one's coming. Oh, someone's coming now. Ah, but it's going to be too late. Looks like they are going to be able to move and get the wards down. All right, faces take a promising fight. We haven't seen many of those this game, Lacoste. And uh, this was turning into a situation where Liquid are 10k ahead. But uh, this might help them cut it down a bit. Maybe not in half, but uh, it, it certainly helps breed a little bit of confidence. Yeah, Arc Warden, if not contested in a fight, uh, in a team fight, he deals so much damage right now and has uh, mobility in terms of Shadow Blade and uh, with double Maelstrom, double Shadow Blades and all those spells double, everything is double. Double trouble. Double trouble. Foil. Bubble. Bubble. Yeah. The Great witches. minds think alike, yes. GH casually steps in, drops quick ward, which will be pinged out. Both sides recognize their position. But uh, no immediate tussle will be had. Lion has a blink dagger for himself, and Kuro wants one as well. Maybe he even decides to go for Midas, but uh, he wants to get, to get that blink. Cast Overgrowth first, just give some time for Enigma to get the better black hole, which it's gonna be a lot easier right now because he has a blink dagger and the Okay, BKB. let's go faceless. They pop the smoke and they said we're ready for a good old fashion fight. They look good for jumping on the Matumba man, but they're gonna get hit now with a black hole if we're coming out from mind control, locking in jabs, and Miracle makes the jump going for the backliner. Nuts is not gonna get finished, but he re-engages and is gonna be able to get the pop and and drop onto the DK, but Look at this, it is Liquid taking the harder shots as they lose three. We're not done yet here. Miracle's able to kind of step out with his Invis rune. Mm. Ice 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 does have a dust, but no reason to pop it at the moment. Oh, but suddenly Miracle shows himself. Can they turn around and get the save or jump on the Miracle? No, Miracle's gonna be able to get a nice quick hit and run. And uh, you know, he's not dying, so the charges keep on stacking and he's up to 22. 22 already at 24 minutes, so that's good. I was expecting a better black hole, to be honest, there. I mean, he has a BKB, hookshot was used, uh, blink dagger was there, there was nothing uh, that uh, disabled his blink dagger, so he just solo black hole the Dragon Knight, which didn't end out really well. Now Liquid are going to be forced to kind of step off a little bit here, but they have no problems with that. More time to repair and heal and mend. The fight for the Tier 1 mid lane has been the longest trilogy of action I've ever seen in Dota. Or Faceless. The day is yet to come when they're going to be able to kind of make their breach. Miracle feeling confident here. Heads into uh, enemy ancient territory, but uh, Black will quickly show himself. Jabs makes his move in. Ice, ice, ice slightly off the mark, but it doesn't matter. They will be able to get yes. Miracle. And that is an gold. eight kill streak going down. Was Does not suspecting Faceless gra crowded up and nearby ready for an ambush like that. Yeah, they timed their spells really well. 
first coconut, I mean first Dragonite initiation with Dragon Tail, then coconuts, then uh, hookshot from Ice Size and uh, power cogs with Sherry on top. Uh, Dragon form pop now from Jabs. I probably thought he was going to be able to take a fight at that moment. We'll now have to uh, just utilize the rest of this Dragon form in the ancient camp nearby. Uh, his team is around, but uh, I don't think this is something they can just smoke and go with. So he'll just use the rest of this time to kind of farm up some ancient camps. And uh, we'll see Liquid just kind of go into a bit of a reset. But since that time... We do have Matumba Man picking up his Hurricane Pike, so... Matumba Man always kind of feels quiet when he's playing his Vengeful Spirit, but uh, still able to accumulate lots of nice farm. Yeah, really quiet. He didn't say a single word throughout <laughs> the game in all chat. Nope. I wasn't mega killed and died, and it's like, oh, maybe I should... Go in a safe mode, level 15 for him, plus 8 all stats. And uh, as you mentioned, that Hurricane Pike finished against Clockwork, always a good item to have. Alright, Deep Plant Ward here for Liquid. As they uh, begin to hold up all of the lanes and hold up Faceless indoors here. Soon to get Cabin Fever if they can't kind of get out. But uh, looking to play this one as safe as possible. Liquid take the opportune time then to move inside the pit. I don't know if Liquid are going to be... Uh, or sorry, yeah. I don't know if Liquid are going to be approached by Faceless during this time or not. It's about halfway dead. The rocket will spot things out. Ice 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 now TPing towards the shrine. Could hook shot in and cause a bit of a ruckus. They're changing up their positioning. Liquid have stepped out from the pit, only Whoa. leaving Miracle inside. But that means he's going to be quickly taken out. He's out for 20 seconds before the Bloodstone will allow him to come back. The Tumble Man going to get forced all the way back and into the high ground, then swapped on in. Roche will get finished and quickly pack, packed up from jabs. It will cost them nuts but uh, certainly worth it for Faceless to be able to move in and claim the Aegis for themselves. Yeah, it's going to be a lot easier to fight for Faceless once that Orchid is completed on Arc Warden. It's double Orchid, and Storm needs his... Uh, well, he wants to go for Lincoln Sphere, but uh, I don't think it's going to be enough. He wants to just uh, try to... <coughs> sorry, block uh, the initial stun from Dragonite, uh, but he will still need a BKB. Just unfortunate there for Liquid. For Miracle, I mean, they look like they had already anticipated the approach from Faceless there. They pulled everyone out that was necessary in hopes that Miracle maybe could at least get the finish. If he couldn't get the finish, he should be able to jump out from trouble, but it seems like Roche had other plans. Kind of hit him up pretty good there, and uh, very nice for Faceless. Jump in for Miracle. He's seeking vengeance. This man at one point was sporting 22 charges and is now down to 9. He gets hit with a stun, but here comes the counter fight from Liquid. Get a nice pullback for Jabs. He's going to be forced to pop the BKB. Begins to right click down onto Mind Control, who steps on back. Has the black hole ready to go here, but they're having trouble dealing with the Dragonite in just his first life. Jabs is just going in. They'll finally be able to bring him down. But Matama Man and GH are both stuck dealing with these zombies. Finally, they'll make it away, but there goes the breathe fire, and there goes the finish. On the other side, they also are going to be able to take down Mind Control. And it's just GH on the run down here. Baseless have been able to take, what, two, three consecutive fights here and uh, pulling this game back their way. Yeah, they're diving too deep. Uh, Storm using pretty much all of his mana. They're not getting any kill and don't have vision for Arc Warden and Enigma. He's not uh, in the place to cast a good black hole. There was a good tombstone, so the zombies disabled uh, his blink dagger and he couldn't get in. Probably also Ice Ice providing vision with rocket flare, so they keep an eye on him. This allows movement forward from Faceless. Maybe a second tier one. I don't even know if they're gonna be able to take this one. This is taking a lot of time here. Liquid, though, uh, still dead. Making him sweat for it with the glyph and living armor. But they will finally be able to bring down, bring down just their second tower of the game. 30 minutes in. Well, it's always hard to take down a tower against uh, that tree and protector. Yeah, of course. Of course. Imagine if you have a tree and protector and the uh, Arc Warden and someone is sieging your base. 
Like I don't want to imagine that. I'm two good. hours game, and you have <laughs> Naga as well. <laughs> Techies somehow appears. Yeah, that that sounds like the worst thing ever. So I'm Fisher good. from Earthshaker. I'm good. I'm good. All right, Liquid draw the game plan here, going and heading through this mid lane, while Faceless maybe possibly anticipating the approach from Liquid here based on the drawing that they put down. Prepare themselves. Kuro waiting nearby. God, he's so close to that blink dagger, such a shame. Can't quite get the extra time to farm it up. Finish it off. But... He's in Moving again. in right away. Insta grab from Jabs. The follow-up. Black Hole's going to be there. But they get the cancel coming out from Ice 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 with the help of the hook shot. The counterplay is there. Faceless. Take the approach that is necessary and get it done. Jabs with his initiations with that blink dagger and dragon tail. What he caught Miracle like four or five times. Especially in that Roche pit. I mean, that's not where you want to be when your storm spirit either you go out as you mentioned or it's, it's hard to actually stand there they, because they have a vision from rocket flare and from uh, spark rates I did not think that ice was going to be able to find that kind of shot it looked like there was a mess of creeps and stuff in the way for that black hole but certainly they do it mid lane it looks like they spotted out miracle here he gets hit up with a silence but does manage to barely make it out. Heads right for the shrine and away from the trouble here. Where did that silence come from? Uh, the silence that I'm like slipping on right here. Black has an orchid. Ah, nice pickup from him. And that is going to be a problem for Miracle. He is on the way of building up a Lincoln Sphere, but I don't know if that alone is going to be enough to stop the potential lockdown that nah. Faceless could dish out. He needs BKB after that Lincoln Sphere. Yeah, that would be a, a nice choice, but that unfortunately will mean he's going to be probably left a little dry in resources and, and late game potential, but we'll have to see. It's a miracle at the end of the day. Let's see what we can make work out of it here. Yeah, and look at that Undying. Like, he's, he's so silent as well. Like, got that uh, 90 gold per minute on level 10, and yeah. just... Uh, Standing there, collecting the gold, has a mech Easy and, money. Yeah. yeah, has cloak. Well, he's got the mech, so he's he's happy for now. And it has been kind of designated as the ward guy since then. So he's had to pull together everything he can. All we have, you know, nuts already complete with his glimmer cape. Faceless as a team still very tight knit here. Kuro trying to inch on in to get any sort of brief sight of where Faceless could be, but Obviously not going to be looking to overextend himself. And uh, what do we got here? A smoke play coming out from Faceless. Found a lot of success in their previous one. Now let's see what they can do with this one. As they head up into a liquid side, liquid are not there. Currently all hanging out far south. Yeah, they're trying to siege the tier one mid tower for the like what eighth time. This time they're gonna be successful, I suppose. Let's go. Finally successful on this tier one. It looks like they'll finally grab it. It took them a long time, but it's down. And now a consideration and a move for possible tier twos. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Crossing pass with Kuro, Miracle. Gonna be jumping in to aid his captain, and GH is gonna help get the fish with the finger. Gonna be the end of the clockwork, but now they're gonna be coming in, but that black hole is big, and it grabs three, pulls him right on into a follow up route from Liquid, and that's a double kill for Miracle. They're gonna follow it up and make it a full five man wipe. What a black hole by mind control. At last, he was saving it for this time. That couldn't was get a beautiful it. Time. Yeah, it that couldn't was get it. Beautiful. Before, but now, and uh, it was kind of ballsy from Dragonite to go in like that, just wasting a BKB, and uh, he even saw the Enigma. So, wow. Let me see who has a buyback. Um, yeah, pretty much no one has a buyback. No one has a buyback. Nuts is going to be back in four seconds time, but I imagine this is going to be a Rax taking away the glyph. Is just holding on to what last bits of defense they can dish out, but this tower is done for, these Raxes are done for, and Liquid take a new firm stand in the game. Just as faces were really pulling themselves 
right back into it. Look at the work that they were able to accomplish just up to that point. Nearly getting the game back even for themselves, but now it's been just totally taken away, and they are back to square one. Storm Spirit just got five charges and almost a full BKB out of that fight. Plus Rexes. Okay, now it's suddenly going to be Kuro possibly caught again, but as I say that, of course the rest of Liquid are going to be there as they look to finish out the Shrine. Man, I, I'll admit, I am not used to casting a lot of Arc Warden games, as I said before, so the Tempest double always throws me off. I have to like do a double take at it to make sure it's uh, not the real one. Well, this is uh, our second Arc Warden game, so we'll get better over time. So oh, thank you. Don't Idiot caster, he's clearly darker in color. <laughs> Bottom lane he goes and he'll help push things out here for Faceless because they'll have to mend all these injuries. It is going to be a lane that they're going to have to continue to keep tabs on, so... Dyer's top tower is under Liquid though, got to feel pretty damn nice. They've just pocketed a serious amount of money and you're going to be seeing a lot of supports pick up those items they were wishing to have before. Look at all the utility even on GH at this point. Four staff, Blink. And uh, he has eyes on a Lotus Orb after that. Yeah, that's going to be a really good against that uh, Dragonite. Roche is up, but seems like they don't want to commit to it yet. They, they want to take a fight before that. They want to devour their forest because they have a gem on Trine Protector. Which they stole from, uh, from the enemy team. Here comes Liquid now as a full smoke here. Oh, they spotted that. They saw the ward go down and they don't see Liquid there, so they know that they're smoked. How are Faceless going to be able to react, react from this and be able to make it away? They're trying to beeline it straight down, but they could get cut off. So they're hoping to hold like this bit of high ground vision right here and prepare for any sort of approach by Liquid. While Ice Ice, Ice is going to be able to scout out the Roche Pit, which is up. Liquid, you do not want to head up just right into their side shop. That is super fishy. Oh, look at that. They're just standing away from each other. Oh, Miracle wants a piece of that. Jumps right in for jabs and then jumps right back out. I don't know, maybe hoping to bait some action. Maybe just hoping to give a little bit more insight in what's going on. Or maybe just give some space. Whatever the case may be, they get the tier 2 down in the mid lane. And uh, Faces will be able to get themselves away from that awkward top lane situation. Oh, double damage picked up for Storm. Plus he has Arcane Rune, so his ulti costs less mana. And then after that he has a double damage good to go, so it's feeling pretty nice for Miracle here. Well, he farms his way through the lane. The rest of his team is still kind of holding up shop just outside the faceless base, kind of making sure that they are going to be stuck indoors here and only relying on Black's Tempest double to kind of get out from the base and push out the lanes in any sort of fashion. Hey, it's time to kill a second shrine. You know what I want to see? I want to see after Bloodthorn, uh, Aghanim Scepter on Storm Spirit. He just goes in with a BKB, pulls everyone, then... Treant goes in, overgrowth, and then the big black hole comes. I mean, that would—that sounds like the hypest thing ever. I would love that. Uh, no ags in sight, unfortunately, for Storm here. Maybe we'll get blessed with a big black hole or not. Base is kind of on the move here. So uh, we see the Tempest it's double Tempest farming double. out the lane. I know, but the rest of the team kind of moving out through the bottom lane. Finally get the ward down. So they're... Gonna try to not be so much in the dark, but it's more or less the same thing. Faceless kind of being stuck inside here, while Liquid are just gobbling up all of the farm on the outskirts, waiting until it's absolutely necessary for a high ground push. Well, Roche is up now, so Liquid are going to be able to get the Aegis and their extra life. At that point, they'll have pretty much everything they could need. Black Hole is online and good to go. Faceless doesn't have enough time to react to this. Yeah, they started walking that way, but Liquid have plenty of people at attendance here. If anyone walks close to Kuro, he'll just hit the R button and Miracle could easily jump in and provide the follow-up damage. 
Not gonna be necessary though. This liquid uh, Roche is totally free. And we just look to Faceless's high ground defense, which I gotta say, I would not be super confident in. So I guess okay. blood, I guess Bloodthorn works against the magnetic field because its evasion bonus should work. Not sure how it works. I didn't see much of Arc Warden, but uh, judging by the mechanics, it should work against it. Yeah, it looks like Miracle almost has his in hand, while Black already has his done. Maybe the ticket they're waiting for, just so that Miracle could take Black out of the game that much faster, but uh, here they're finally making their way through the top lane. And, uh, you know, we're not seeing Faceless go back for those kind of smoke plays anymore here. This is more rinse and repeat of them holding inside their base and going for a defensive game. Well, they're stuck in their base. They're not farming much. It's DK farming and Arc Warden, but the rest, uh, their items are pretty much the same. They have Midas and Clock, who use it from time to time, just providing vision with those rockets. Uh, Ooh. Black uh, trying to make a move onto Miracle a bit with his Tempest double, but obviously Miracle's going to be able to jump away from that one. And now he will rendezvous with the rest of his team. Here we go. The moment we were waiting for. Liquid are making their push happen. And there is a swap, pullback, and takedown. That is going to be Clockwork taken out of the game and out of this defense for at least 65 seconds time. No now buyback. Tier 3 is going to be done for. Black moves in with his Tempest double. Pops out the bubble. And Liquid will simply step away and help finish it off. Now they can move back in. There's going to be the time for big black the hole. Roots. There it goes. Miracle gets the pullback. The mind control black hole will be on two. It helps of locking down jabs even longer, sucking away that time second on black the hole. Form. Second black hole is going to be there for the DK, and he goes down. And it's a double kill for Matama man. This game should be over. As Liquid DK will be finishing out their next set. Yeah, DK buying back, but uh, nothing comes out of that except his death. Fountain camping time for Liquid, it would appear. Swap back from jabs. This would just really make sure that it's certainly over. Yeah, that is now a no buyback DK. And Liquid are just trying to get Faceless to tap out, if anything, here. This is like they have the Anaconda choke. And there's the tap. Tap out. Okay. It was a little longer there at the back end, but it was well deserved and earned by Liquid. Yeah, Liquid had their games. Uh on point those uh, tier 2 tower dives that, that scouting from Kuroki really made the game easy for them then they kind of got caught a few times not them miracle got caught like 